This is my first time at Davos, and uh, and I find it quite a bewildering experience, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, 1,500 private yachts have flown in here to hear Sir David Attenborough speak about, you know, how we're wrecking the planet. And uh, I mean, I hear people talk in the language of participation and justice and equality and transparency. But then, I mean, almost no one raises the real issue of tax avoidance, right? And of the rich just not paying their fair share. I mean, it feels like I'm at a firefighters fighters conference and no one's allowed to speak about water, right? <laughs> there, was, there was only one panel, actually. Thank well, we've had two, you're the second well, of well, our panelists. There, there so was only one panel. Let's go there. One. One panel hidden away in the media center that was actually about tax avoidance. Yeah. I was about, I was one of the 15 participants. So <laughs> something needs to change here. I mean, ten, 10 years ago, the World Economic Forum asked the question, what must industry do to prevent a broad social backlash? The answer is very simple. Just stop talking about philanthropy and start talking about taxes, mm -hmm. taxes, taxes. We need to, mm -hmm. I mean, just two days ago, there was a billionaire in here, uh, what's his name, Michael Dell. And uh, he asked the question like, name me one country where a top marginal tax rate of 70% has actually worked. Mm -hmm. And you know, I'm a historian, the United States, that's where it has actually worked. In the 1950s, during <laughs> Republican President Eisenhower, you know, the war veteran, the top marginal tax rate in the US was 91% mm -hmm. for people like Michael Dell. You know, the top estate tax for people like Michael Dell was more than 70%. I mean, this is not rocket science. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can talk for a very long time about all these stupid <laughs> philanthropy schemes. We can invite Bono once more, but come on, it's, we gotta be talking about taxes. Yeah, exactly. That's it, taxes, taxes, taxes. All the rest is bullshit, in, in my opinion. We have a tax system that leaks so much that allows $170 billion of money every year to be taken to tax havens and to be denied the developing countries that need that money most. So we have to look at the business model and we have to look at the role of governments to tax and plow back money into people's lives. I have to say, honestly, this is a very one-sided panel. The U.S. basically has the lowest unemployment rate ever, the lowest black unemployment rate ever, the lowest youth unemployment ever. Uh, we've actually reduced poverty around the world. No one's talking about that at all. So I'd like for the panel to talk about beyond taxes, which every one of you have talked about. The only thing you've talked about in this whole panel on inequality, mm -hmm. what can we really do to solve and help solve inequality over time beyond taxes? The gentleman who talked about, who said we've just talked taxes and that jobs are there and there's low and unemployment rates are low. Let me tell you something. We're talking about jobs, but the quality of those jobs. And we also work with poultry workers in the richest country in the world, the United States, poultry workers. These are women who are cutting the chickens and packing them and we buy them in the supermarkets. Dolores, one woman we work with there, told us that she and her co-workers have to wear diapers to work because they are not allowed toilet breaks. This is in the richest country in the world. That's not a dignified job. Those are the jobs we are being told about, that globalization is bringing jobs. The quality of the jobs matter. It matters. These are not jobs of dignity. In many countries, workers no longer have a, a voice. They are not allowed to unionize. They are not allowed to negotiate for, work, for salaries. So we're talking about jobs, but jobs that bring dignity. We are talking about healthcare. The World Bank has told us that 3.4 billion people who earn $5.5 a day are on the verge, are just a uh, medical bill away from sinking into poverty. They don't have health care. They are just a crop failure away from sinking back into poverty. They have no crop insurance. So don't tell me about low levels of unemployment. You are counting the wrong things. You're not counting dignity of people. You're counting exploited people. I, I want to...